Okay, for this game, I prefer standing. It can be played seated as well, but it's a little harder in the sense that you might end up chasing the ball and have to get up and down a bunch to do that. So do your best if you can, if you have to play seated, but play standing is my recommendation. So it starts with just a, a, an essential kind of basic arc back and forth this way. But what we're gonna do is close your eyes for the toss, open your eyes when the ball is in midair, find the ball and track it into your hand and say what you see. So start with just getting kind of the feel of what that feels like, kind of that arc motion feels like. Not too fast, but you get a sense of the timing. Okay, now we're gonna close my eyes, toss it, open, spot it, and then track and say it. D, reset, eyes closed. T, eyes closed. L, K, I, K, A, 12, N, X. All right, so count on dropping the ball once in a while. We're not looking for perfection here. We're looking for the, your ability to find the ball and then track it into your hands. And then saying it out loud helps to finish that brain processing. So you're sensing where it's at, you're deciding what you're gonna do about it, and then you act on it by catching it and saying it out loud. So that sense, decide, act cycle that's so important for how our brain processes gets reinforced. And remember, your eyes are so important to how well you move and feel in your body that the better coordination your eyes have in this drill and exercise and game, the better you're gonna feel and move in your body. So make sure you keep it fun so the brain stays curious and wants to keep playing and wants to learn more. If you have any questions about this game, please let me know. I'm always happy to help. Play for about one to five minutes. Go give it a try.